What's going on YouTube? Jonathan Wright here with Tactical Toolbox. And today guys, I got another special treat for you. We're gonna be reviewing this Tactical EDC belt from Blue Alpha Gear. Now, I don't know about you guys, but you can't really conceal carry without a good stiff belt to hold your gun up. When I, uh, when I first kind of got into concealed carry, I didn't know anything about gun belts. And uh, I had the my first holster, which was, what, what holster was that? It was a Galco King Tuck, and I had a Glock 19, and I just had a regular standard leather be uh, belt from, uh, what was that, Fossil. And I remember I would put it on at like the 3.30, 4 o'clock position, and it would pull my pants down because I don't have a butt. So, it was constantly just riding down and I kind of felt like every time I took a step that the uh, gun was flopping around. And then I got to researching it online and found out I needed a gun belt. So I went down to my local gun shop and bought a Galco instructor's belt. And that belt has been great. But uh, as of recently, um, I've been looking into other types of belts that a lot of people seem to like. and. I already reviewed the Hanks leather belt, and that's my favorite leather concealed carry belt. So if you haven't seen that review, I'll put a link in the description so you can go see that one. But I also wanted another tactical belt. Um, I wanted a gray one, actually. So I reached out to Blue Alpha Group about 90 days ago, and I've been wearing this every single day since I got this 90 days ago. So I just want to say thank you to Blue Alpha Group for sending this out to me. As you can see, this thing is very, very rigid. Um, holds the gun up very well, no matter if you carry at the 3 o'clock, 3.34, or appendix, or wherever you carry it, it's going to hold it up. Um, so what we're going to do, guys, we're going to dive down, and we're going to talk about this a little bit, um, mainly because it has this Cobra buckle, which is a great buckle, but it may cause some issues if you don't know what you're doing. So let's dive down and take a look at this, and we'll see if this is something that you guys might like. So this is the Blue Alpha 1.5 inch EDC belt. Um, they don't currently offer a 1.75 uh, inch, but I find that most holster clips, like uh, this Raven concealment one that I have, most of them are about 1.5 inches. So you can see there, fits over just perfectly. And this is how I've been carrying it for a while. But anyway, let's get into this Cobra buckle here. Now, the Cobra buckles are great but they cause issues for a lot of people because they're a little bit too wide to fit through most belt loops. Um, so, but they, they are very great uh, buckles. I mean, the cool thing I like about it is you get this breakaway snap. From what I understand, these can hold thousands of pounds of tension on them without collapsing, but it's kind of over-engineered, I would say, um, at least as far as a belt. Maybe if you were like climbing or something like that, but it's still a great buckle. I like the fact that if I'm carrying concealed and I go to the restroom and need to sit down, uh, it comes right off just like that. Perfect. Whereas the Galco instructor's belt did not do this. Um, the other thing the, that I noticed is it's got very good Velcro. Very good. This is made of a dual layer nylon. And uh, as far as the belt's concerned, right here you can see dual layers and it's very, very thick and rigid. Um, and then it's got really good Velcro. So what you do is you order this in the size of pants that you wear. I typically wear a size 34. I wear my pants a little loose so I can have some growing room if need be. And then it will fit you perfectly. This is about where I have it and I still got that much room um, if I lost weight. And then if I gained weight, I still got that much room. So that I love because a lot of times with belts that have uh, holes in them, like my uh, leather belt from Hanks, I find that sometimes the holes are not close enough together and I'm stuck in between sizes. But this is the way that you put it on. Um, for me, if your, if your buckle will not fit through, what you do is you just feed it through like this and then you can wear this a couple different ways. The first way is the way I wear it because I don't wear any knife sheaths or you know mag carriers on my belt. I just put it through just like this. and. That's it. And then I put my holster right here and that's how I wear it. Now someone on Instagram kind of called me out and said, oh, you're wearing it incorrectly. You should Google how to do it. I know how to wear it incorrectly. I mean, I know how to wear it correctly. And the correct way you wear this is you just feed this through 
just like this and pull it through again. Now this is a great way to wear it. Um, and it does give you a lot more security as far as the belt. But the reason I don't wear it like this is because it's kind of a pain to take on and off. And so I'll, I'll put up a clip here in a second so you can see how I put it on and off and how it rides. But this is a fantastic, uh, a fantastic belt. And uh, I love it. And I just want to thank Blue Alpha Group for sending it out to me. Um, I will be getting more. They, cu they currently have three colors. They got black, wolf gray, and coyote brown. Now the black and the gray come with a, a black buckle and the coyote brown actually has a brown buckle that matches the belt. But I'll put a couple of links in the description guys for you guys because these are awesome. And right now they're on sale for $49.97 and I got a code that you guys can use that will get you 10% off. So essentially about 45 bucks for this belt. So I'll put the code in the description and a link where you can get this from them. I'm not affiliated, so you know, you don't got to worry if you go to their website and buy it. I don't get any credit. Um, but this is a solid offering, guys. Um, it's made in Georgia. And so you're made in the U.S., but they're specifically from Georgia, which I like because I grew up in Georgia. So that, guys, you, this is honestly the best bang for your buck, I believe, if you're going to be getting a tactical nylon belt. Now, I understand there's other options available like the SOE and the One Shot Solutions. And I'm not saying they aren't great belts, but I, I understand that like the One Shot Solution belts, they're about $89 from what I understand. I would still like to review one of those, but I haven't had the chance to get my hands on one. So guys, this is the easy way to put on the belt. And what I do is I just feed it through, just like you see here with the uh, male end detached. And then I just simply pull the, uh, the excess right over the top and then right through my loop and then I Velcro it. Now this is technically the incorrect way to wear it, but it holds my pants up just fine, holds my Glock 19 in place perfectly, and it even keeps it snug against my body and it doesn't, you know, as you can see, I'm not printing at all here. So this is technically the incorrect way to carry it. Now this is the correct way to hold the belt, to put it on actually. So what you do is there's this little metal bar and you're gonna wedge the tip of the excess right through this bar. And this is why I don't wear it this way. It's not that it's impossible. It's just kind of difficult on a daily basis of getting up in the morning, getting ready, coming home and taking everything off. Um, if I'm gonna be wearing the same pants for a couple days in a row, I'll wear it like this. And this is the official correct way to wear the Cobra belt. And it holds the uh, firearm the exact same way that it holds uh, as the other way that I hold it. But I love this belt regardless. And whether you wear it like this or the other way, which I prefer, the easy on, easy off method, it doesn't really matter. Well, guys, that concludes my review of the Blue Alpha Gear 1.5 inch EDC belt. Uh, guys, if you carry a lot of stuff on your belts, or if you just carry a holster, this will hold it up. It, like I said, it's very, very rigid, but it's not uncomfortable. Um, sometimes these EDC belts, they'll really dig into your side and call, almost cause a bruise until you get them to mold to you. And uh, this one didn't do that. Um, I will say that the Leather Hanks belt, it did create a little bit of a bruise while I was forming it to my body, as well as the Galco instructor's belt. Maybe I've just gotten tougher, but I didn't get sore. Um, while breaking this in and I've tested this for a full 90 days. It hasn't lost any of its stiffness and uh, it's like it's injected with Viagra or something. But uh, I love the Culver belt. Like I said, if you don't want to wear it like this, you can just throw this strap on over and it's easier to take on and off day in and day out. Um, but yeah, guys, use our code TTB10 and get 10% off from BlueAlphaGear.com. I'll put a link in the description for you guys. And uh, if they're out of stock at Blue Alpha Gear, I'll put another link in the description where you can get it as well um, from another retailer. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the reviews. Thank you so much for all of your support and all of you subscribers. And stay tuned because tomorrow we're going to announce the biggest giveaway that we've ever done on Tactical Toolbox. I'm talking about $1,000 worth of stuff given away. And so you guys want to see that. So subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be posting it up tomorrow. And uh, like, I guess, like I said again, guys, thank you and God bless you.